Okay, we're going to uh, make some Chrome text here. Create a new file. And I'm going to just make a background here. Pattern, a checkerboard pattern. There, and I'm going to color it to uh, some kind of color. Um, brightness and contrast. Brightness, okay. Colorize. Let's make it that color. <clears throat> now I'm going to create the uh, text, the Chrome text. Um, first, we uh, put out some text. Chrome text. Now I'm going to copy the background, edit, copy. Now what I'm going to do here is go File, Create. I'm going to create a new image from the clipboard, which is the background. Okay. I'm going to minimize that and work on this here text. I'm going to right click on the text layer and I'm going to uh, um, select layer to image size which will make the canvas the same size as the background. Now I'm going to go and go filter alpha to logo. Chrome. And I'm going to use the default settings. And there it goes. I got my Chrome text. Now this is, this here is the uh, layer mask. Cancel that. This is the layer mask. If I turn the layer mask off, Layer mask. Uh, show layer mask. That's what the uh, text the text looks like without the layer mask. So let's go show layer mask. Now we go right click. I mean, um, right click on the layer mask. Go apply layer mask. Now, we have two layers here. One's a drop shadow, and one's the chrome text. So we merge down, we right click again on the chrome text, and go merge down. And then we go over to our menu over here, and go edit, copy. Now we open up our background. Right click on the, the, the layer. It's called pasted layer because that's what it is. Create new layer and we want it to be transparent. So we click, OK. this is the default setting. So we click OK. And now we go edit paste. Now we've pasted it. It's a floating selection and we pasted. It's called pasted number one, layer number one. So what we need to do here, it's a floating selection, it's it's floating around right now, so we need to uh, anchor it. So we go uh, layer, anchor, now it's anchored, and there it is. Now if you save this image as an XCF file, which is the native file for uh, GIMP, it will remain there as a text layer with your background, with this with your background behind it. If you save it as anything else other than an XCF file or a GIF file or any other file that doesn't support layers, then you'll lose the uh, text layer here. It'll be combined. It'll be all one layer. If you save it as a ping, uh, PNG image, uh, if you save it as a JPEG, It'll become one image.
one in one layer, one file, one image. If you save it as an XCF, then you'll have access to the uh, both layers, your background layer and your text layer. Anyway, I hope that explains it. That's it for now.